you right there guys well it's a bit of a rainy Sunday here in uh, Dursley Gloucestershire so uh, I'm going to do a bit of cooking a bit of baking I've done a cake already and at the moment I've got my eyes on that blue Hokkaido squash there on the right hand side I'm going to stuff it and roast it and have it for my evening meal okay here we go then well, those that follow me will know that I don't often follow a recipe, so I'm winging it again. Uh, what I want to do is get the uh, get the squash pre-cooked. So rather than roast it first, I put it in a slow cooker, half inch of water in the bottom, and then just uh, cook away on the low setting for four hours. To be honest, maybe next time if I ever do it again, it will be three hours. The flesh was a little bit soft when I started roasting, but nice. And four hours later, the gorgeous blue squash has turned a dark green colour. Time to cut the top off. Well, when you cut the top off, point the knife towards the centre as you go round. If you cut the top off by putting your knife straight up and down, uh, it will fall in when you kind of put it back on. Look at that gorgeous colour of that flesh. Um, you'll see what I mean. Let's see, I've cut an angle all the way through. So I just scoop out the uh, gooey bits and the seeds in the middle. And you see what I mean now. Look, when you put the, uh, the top back on, that's going to sit there lovely. And don't forget, Halloween's coming up soon, so use the same tip with your pumpkins. Cut at an angle, stop the lids falling in. <laughs> right then, the stuffing. Well, I've used cauliflower to bulk it out. Uh, some of my own uh, onions and tomatoes there. Spring onions, actually. And some mixed mushrooms. What? Chestnut mushrooms, shiitake. That's for you, Rob, over at <laughs> Seons. Sweat them down. And then what I did, I used a bit of, I cheated a bit, I used a bit of this uh, mushroom sauce, give it a bit of liquid, put it all back in the pan just to warm it up a bit, chopped up a bit of uh, feta cheese and put it all in the squash. Lid on top, ready for baking. Like I said, it's a bit of a wing it recipe. You can put whatever you want in the squash, rice, uh, lentils, couscous, anything you want. Any veg you got lying around. Yeah, make it spicy, make it oriental. It's up to you guys. And here is the finished product. 30 to 40 minutes in the oven at, uh, what was it, 200 Celsius, I suppose. And here it is. It's not a Mad Axe murderer taken to it. It's me with a knife. And I'll tell you what, very, very tasty it was too. And it certainly filled me up with my Sunday meal. I will definitely be doing this again another time, different filling. Anyway guys, if you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Please let me know why. And please consider subscribing. <laughs>